Being a New York Jets fan comes with a lot of frustration over the years. In my lifetime, quarterback after quarterback, Vinny Testaverde, Chad Pennington, Mark Sanchez, and now Geno Smith, they've all lacked one thing, and that's caused each one of them to not succeed. Interceptions, fumbles, turnovers, they all, they all went together because of one thing they were all lacking, self-confidence. This is the worst thing that a fan could see when your quarterback shrugs his shoulders after an interception or puts his head down or starts yelling at, the other t at his other teammates on the field. It's the worst thing to see when your quarterback lacks self-confidence. And the Torah has a lot to say about this topic. In Parshish Vayeshev, Perik Lamed Tes, Pasuk Ches, the Torah writes the topic by Yosef and Potiphar's wife. We, we all know growing up, we, we all learned this story that Potiphar's wife tries to seduce Yosef every single day, day in and day out. And one day, the Torah writes about this exact event of what was going on. The Pasuk writes, Vayimain vayomer el eshes Adonov, hein Adoni lo yada iti ma babayis v'chol asher yesh lo nason biyadi. Potiphar's wife is challenging Yosef to the, to the, for the biggest desire in the entire world. No one in the entire universe would have known if Yosef had committed the sin. And what does the Torah say that Yosef did? Vayimain, he refused. He told his desire, this is not me, this is not who I am. Where did Yosef get this koach from? How in the world did Yosef have this ability to tell Potiphar's wife, no? No one in the entire world would have known what happened. Says Rav Moshe Weinberger, quoting the, the Sfas Emes, the Gera Rebbe, Yosef at Tzadik got this ability from his father Yaakov Avinu. Earlier in Parshish Vayeshev, in Perak Lamed Zayin, Pasuk Lamed Hay, the Torah writes, Vayakumu chobana v'chobanosav lenachamo vayimoin lehisnachim vayomer ki ered el b'ni avel sheola vayev oso aviv. The brothers come and they show Yaakov Avinu the ketonas pasim with the goat's blood. And Yaakov Avinu knows in his blood that Yosef, my son Yosef, is still alive. And what is the word that the Torah uses to show? Vayimoin. And he refused. Says the Gemara and Sota, What did Yosef at Tzadik think? Think about when Potiphar's wife was coming onto him and was trying to seduce him. He saw the vision of his father. He saw the image of his father, Yaakov Avinu. Cesar of Weinberger, what does this mean? That he saw the image of his father, Yaakov Avinu. It means that he saw his father who believed in him, who cared, who cared for him, who infused everything that he was and everything that he was going to be for the person that Yosef Hatzadik was going to be for his, his, his entire life. He remembered the person that believed in him as he was a young lad, as a young nar. Yosef Hatzadik had this koach of telling Potiphar's wife no from the ability of having someone in his life that infused self-confidence into him and, and telling him, I believe in you. I believe in who you are. Believe in, your, believe in yourself. As teachers, we all have Yosef at Sadiq's sitting in our classroom. We are all Yaakov Avinus as soon as we walk in the door in September. From September until June, we are all Yaakov Avinus with pearls and diamonds and treasures and Yosef at Sadiq's waiting, sitting at their desks, look, waiting for us to infuse self-confidence in them. Not just telling, saying, good job Ari, or good job Rina, or good job Rachel giving specific compliments. Great job on that toast roast today. You know, that was a really, thank you so much for, for raising your hand today. I know everyone was very tired, but thank you, I appreciate that. So many times in our lives when we get, comp when we get specific compliments from our teachers, it, in it infuses self-confidence and, and the students want to be better. They want to be more active in, in the classroom. When it comes down to it, when our students leave in June and they leave for the summer, one of the main goals, or maybe the essential goal, is for the students to believe in themselves and say, you know what, after one full year of me being in this classroom, I'm a different person. I believe in myself. I believe in the things that I could do in my life. And every single teacher has this responsibility and has this duty to be able to find, them and find that quality in every single person, in every single student in their classroom, and infusing it and focusing it and honing, on, honing in on it. As Rav Tzadok Cohen says famously in his Sefer called Sitka Satzadik, 
The same way a Jew must believe in Hashem, they must believe in themselves. S explains Rav Weinberger why. Why, mu why. why must they believe in themselves? Because once they believe in themselves, they could see how special each one of them are and be able to grow as a, as a student and ultimately as a parent and a father and a mother in their own individual and special way. That is the responsibility and that is the privilege and the that we have as teachers in this generation. Thank you very much.